Welcome to My Mushroom Health, Fungi You Can Feel. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about mushrooms for sex drive. So let's go ahead and get started. While the topic may be a bit sensitive to some, intimacy is a very important activity for health and wellness. Your body releases powerful immune supportive chemicals during and after sexual activity. Intimacy is really very healthy. A strong libido or sex drive is a sign of proper balance in body chemistry. If chemical imbalances occur, they often can affect libido and some prescription medications don't help. So, low sex drive. Well, a low sex drive may be related to circulation and blood pressure. Now, psychological issues with regard to sex are more complex. Heart disease, which is the hardening of arterial walls, can lower sex drive. High cholesterol and high blood pressure can also impact the amount of blood flowing to the genital region. And diabetes contributes to ED by damaging nerves and blood vessels all over the body. Cholesterol is an important topic because cholesterol is essential for making many critical hormones, including the stress hormone cortisol. It also assists with adrenal function, and cholesterol is used to make the sex hormones testosterone, progesterone, and estrogen, which is why it controls your sex drive and libido. The liver uses cholesterol to make bile, a fluid that plays a very important role in the processing and digestion of fatty acids. We have medical study links found on our website if you'd like to check them out. All this information is based on medical studies. So let's go into why you need it. Cholesterol serves three primary purposes. It assists in bile production in the liver. It is a building block for human tissues and it aids in the production of sex hormones. Your brain also requires cholesterol to function. The main role is to maintain the integrity and fluidity of cell membranes and serves as a precursor for the synthesis of vital hormones, bile acids, and vitamin D. Now remember, vitamin D is vital, especially in winter months. Types. There are three types of cholesterol. HDL, non-HDL, and LDL. A balanced HDL level is approximately 40 for the average person. Non-HDL level should be less than 130, and the LDL level should be less than 100. Average total cholesterol levels in adults is approximately 120 to 200. While 200 is on the high side for some people, this can be normal to others if it doesn't fluctuate. Now let's talk about adjustments. If your cholesterol is high, it is a sign that you need to adjust your diet to help lower the levels naturally. Diet is the leading cause of high cholesterol. If your cholesterol is 199, let's say near the high limit, you may be prescribed a statin drug from your PCP primary care physician, and statins will artificially try to change your body chemistry to try and lower the cholesterol and its effects may change other chemical balances. If you choose this route, just be aware of the following facts. Some people's levels run higher than that of others, approximately 175 to 200. And if you do not see your levels rising over time, this may be normal for you. And prescriptions are not 100% natural and can cause possible side effects. Prescription medications, including statins, will affect other chemical symphonies, including sex drive. Speak to your doctor about the primary side effects of prescription drugs that they suggest for your condition. Many prescription medications will list the potential side effects on the medicine or on their website. Some effects such as low sex drive, lethargic, brain fog, swelling of the hands, face, and mouth, stomach issues are just some few side effects. And the big one that we concerned about here at My Mushroom Health is that they can also suppress your immune system. Now, when we talk about mushrooms, medicinal mushrooms are filled with nutrients such as riboflavin, B2, folate, B9, thiamine, B1, P3, 
pantothenic acid, B5, niacin, B3, and many other B vitamins. Polysaccharides and beta-glucans are also very healthy. Mushrooms also contain vitamins and minerals, including zinc, magnesium, copper, potassium, selenium, which is very important, phosphorus, and many antioxidants. Now, mycelium, which is the active compound in many medicinal mushrooms, the activated mycelium in many of these mushrooms helps to lower cortisol, which is a stress hormone in the brain. Nutrients in mushrooms, especially lion's mane medicinal mushrooms, help with ATP, which has been shown to increase oxygen to the muscles. This makes them great for libido and sex drive. Medicinal mushrooms are chemical balancers for millions of membranes helping to maintain chemical balance within your cells. Millions of people over 50 use lion's mane for libido. Conclusion? Well, consider medicinal mushrooms before you go on a statin drug to see if your body will respond naturally as well as changing your diet. Less red meat, less cheese and dairy often is all that is required to make a useful change to your body. The reduction of cheese and red meat along with more polyphenols like healthy greens, broccoli, asparagus, sprouts, spinach, and kale can make a significant change with no prescription drugs whatsoever. Take time to watch Game Changers, which is a documentary, it's online, where they show cholesterol reduction within 90 days of people simply changing their diet. And if you're interested, we have a complete 10-in-1 mushroom complex. Our 10-in-1 gummies contain lion's mane, Rishi, turkey tail, cordyceps, chaga, mitaki, shiitake, white button, black fungi, and royal sun mushrooms, all in one complex. They contain 2,500 milligrams in each great tasting gummy, so they have both functional and culinary mushrooms within them. Our bottle also contains 60 gummies for a full 30-day supply, and the average dose is 1 in the a.m. and 1 in the p.m. And of course, remember, you will not have any nasty powdered mushroom taste or repeating that is very common with powdered mushrooms. So hopefully this gave you some information to consider regarding functional medicinal mushrooms. We hope you will be well. And don't forget, do something nice for someone you don't even know today. There's just not enough of that in the world right now.